In this video, I'm going to demo how the um, recently created WP Video Sitemaps plugin functions on the administrative side. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get logged into the WordPress admin. And I've already activated the plugin. But let's go ahead and scroll down. So once it's activated, over here on the lower left, you'll see a sitemap uh, <clears throat> box that's been added. And you hit the drop down to reveal the actual sitemap admin panel. Um, and here you'll see that it's you know very basic. We can we can either submit an existing sitemap to Google we can generate a sitemap now so let's go ahead and generate a sitemap now we click the little button okay so we can see here that five videos were indexed and we can see that the sitemap that's been created is located here I'm just gonna copy that we'll open up a new tab and go ahead and visit it so here we are. These are the five videos that I've put on this test site. So you can see right here we have a Vimeo. And the rest of these are um, YouTube videos. So now, <clears throat> let's go back down and I'm going to go ahead and click the sitemap link again. And we can submit this sitemap to Google. So we click that. And there we are. So that's all and you'll see the little message right here. It may take some time for Google to process it. Now, right here I'm going to show you a how you can a link that you can click to confirm whether or not the uh, video has been accepted. I mean the sitemap has been accepted by Google. Okay. So <clears throat> if you look in the notepad um for the URL that that is a uh, packaged with the plugin. Um, if you take this, so we'll copy it. Okay, and I'm just going to click this generate video sitemap now button again uh, because I want this uh, this URL string right here. So here is how you can actually check to see whether or not the sitemap has been created. So we put in that URL, then we'll copy this. And not to test to see whether or not the, the sitemap has been created, but to test whether or not it's been accepted by Google. And you paste that in there, and then just visit that URL, and you'll see right here, um, sitemap notification received. Your sitemap has been successfully added to our list of sitemaps to crawl. If this is the first time you are notifying Google about this sitemap, please add it via Google Webmaster Tools so you can track its status. Please note that we do not add all submitted URLs to our index, and we cannot make any predictions or guarantees about when or if they will appear. So that is the uh, the, the the notification that Google actually gives you um, once they've received your uh, your submitted sitemap um, inside of here. So another way that you can do it, um, you can manually so on the submit to Google, you can manually you uh, submit the um, the sitemap as well. So if you click that, it'll take you to the uh, Webmaster Tools where you could just copy that um, that URL string and paste it in, and um, and 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 uh, Google will accept it that way also. Okay. So next, um, as for the options for the sitemap plugin, how often the sitemap should be generated. So your options are once per hour, twice per day, once per day, once per week, or once per month, or never. You know, if you don't want it to ever auto generate a sitemap, then select ever. Never. How often the sitemap should be submitted to Google? Once again, you have the same options. 
and then finally generate sitemap every time new posts are created so you have the option if you want um, this will be appropriate if you do a lot of video blogging for example if um, you know on the for the most part every time you make a post there's a video associated with it in this case instead of a uh, site mapping your site each time you can just set it so that each time you create a new post um, a site map is generated and um, and that's pretty much it so the next thing that I'm going to show with this is myself actually um, adding a video so you as you if you remember um, last time we we created a site map um, we had a total of five videos so I'm gonna go ahead and let's get another one so let's go to YouTube and I'm just going to put in okay so let's uh let's just grab quick video uh, I don't know what this is but I'm gonna go ahead and grab it so I'll grab the embed code and let's go back let's add a new post And we're just going to call this one and make sure that you're in HTML view. We'll just paste this embed code in here. Okay. And just put it in general, publish. So now let's come down, go back to our site map, generate site map now you'll see that now there's six videos that were indexed if we visit this URL and here it is right here okay if we click it we actually go to it Now that's with that one. Now let's do a Vimeo. Okay. And I'm just going to grab a video from in here. So let's just uh, take this one and hit the embed. Let's grab this. Come back over. And let's add a new page. So the last time I put it on the post, this time I'll put it on the page. Let's publish it. Let's go back down to our site map. Generate video site map. And now you can see that seven videos were indexed. So if we come here, and I don't think I gave it a title. There we are, video on the page. There we go. It's right here. Let me click that. And here we are. That concludes this little overview. Thank you for watching.